National Youth Service Course NYSC has presented before the Election Petition Tribunal in Enugu State an evidence to show that the sitting governor of the state, Peter Uba, allegedly forged his certificate. NYSC appeared as the first witness of the Labour Party and its candidate in the last Enugu state governorship election, Shijoke Edoga, as the parties continued the defense of their petition against Governor Peter Umba of Enugu state at the election tribunal. According to Vanguard newspaper, the election tribunal at the resumed hearing of the petition filed by LP and its candidate, Shijoke Edoga, the National Youth Service Course, NYSC, appeared as their first witness whose official, director of certification, Aliyu Abdul Mohammed tendered some documents which were admitted by the tribunal as evidence. Among the documents tendered by the NYSC were the alleged forged discharge certificate used by Uber as well as the original discharge certificate which they said Uber ought to have collected. Also tendered was a letter written by Omar and Partners, an Abuja-based law firm, which had asked the courts to scrutinize the discharge certificate submitted to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, by the governor. The petitioners, represented by Adebuyega Awomulu, San, leading doctor. Valerie Azenj, San, Ifani Ojeni and others, led the witness, PW1, in evidence. The witness, the director of certification, NYSC, Aliyu Abdul Mohammed adopted his written deposition on oath which was tendered and admitted in evidence by the tribunal. The third respondent, PDP, counsel, Anthony Ani, San, however, objected to the admissibility of the document and opted to move a motion dated and filed on the 7th day of July 2023, which seeks to pray the tribunal to strike out the written deposition on oath of the PW1 on the ground of incompetence. The first respondent, INEC, as well as the second respondent, Peter Umba, aligned themselves with the submission of ANI. Making their case, the respondents relied on the Court of Appeal decision in the case of NDP and Anovi Inek as well as that of Damina and Anovi Adamo and us and asked the court to strike out the written deposition on oath of the PW1 for lack of competence. In response, the petitioner's lawyers relying on the case of Ararum and Anovi Inek, which according to them, is a conflicting decision with the authorities cited by the respondents' counsel, asked the court to admit the written deposition on oath of the PW1. In a short ruling, the tribunal admitted the document and reserved ruling on the objections raised by the respondents for final judgment. In his examination in chief, Mohammed told the tribunal that he acted on a subpoena served on the director general of the NYSC or any other official to appear before the tribunal to give evidence to clear some issues bordering on the certificate purportedly issued by the agency. The subpoena was also admitted in evidence without objection from the respondents and was marked as Exhibit PTC 0106. Mohammed also tendered his official identity card as a staff of NYSC which was equally admitted in evidence and marked as Exhibit PTC 0107. In paragraph 3, 3 of the petitioner's witnesses' deposition on oath, the witness stated that in obedience to the subpoena by the tribunal, he came with the authentic discharge certificate of the governor, as well as the one purportedly given to him. The respondents' counsel objected to the admissibility of the documents and reserved their reasons for final written addresses. The tribunal, however, admitted the documents and marked them as exhibits PTC 010 at ANB. Vanguard newspaper report reads in quotes. However, the Labour Party and its candidate also also presented another. Witness an Abuja-based legal practitioner, Mary Ninyoma Elijah, a principal partner in the law firm of Omar and Partners as the petitioner's witness to. A letter addressed to the presiding justice of the Federal High Court, Lagos Division, for the production of the appointment letter dated the 14th of July 2003, appointing Bar. Peter Umba as the chief of staff to the then governor of Enugu State, Dr. Chimaroke Inamani in the same year he, Umba, claimed he was serving was admitted in evidence amidst objections and marked as Exhibit PTC 0113ANB. Enumata was adjourned to Tuesday the 11th of July 2023 for further hearing.